Absolute ultralight seems to focus the weight of the gears. The lighter, the better. Relative ultralight is more characterized by the design, technology, structure, and the materials of the gears, which is to satisfy the largest and the most demanding in a reasonable rate. The goal of absolute the ultralight is mainly to reduce demand. The goal of relative ultralight is mainly to meet more needs with the lightest weight possible. Absolute ultralight is the art of survival, and it seems to be challenging and enduring harsh natural environment. Relative ultralight is more of the art of life, enjoying more colorful life in the natural environment, while completing some specific tasks. Absolute ultralight is the art of subtraction, reducing the most demand and keeping the smallest weight. Relative ultralight is the art of addition, according to the environment. A binary animation forecast sets a controllable weight and adds more reasonable gears and functions. An example of relative ultralight in coldest climate of the lowest minus 30 degrees Celsius in winter, overnight in a mountain forest at an altitude of 2,500 meters and a multi-day trip of aero photography. The weight of the backpack is set at about 15 kilograms. The possible partial gears list includes mini system 55 liter master backpack 1 kilogram 6 person DCF meter tent and carbon fiber pole 0.6 plus 0.2 kilogram alpha multi-purpose titanium chimney wood stove 0.4 kilogram magic mat low temperature sleeping mat 0.3 kilogram box saw 0.15 kilogram to DJI Mavic Air drones, 15 drone batteries, to ultralight 650 grams, dome crates, also used as camp insulation coats, one dome pants, etc. By relative ultralight theory, the personal control of carrying capacity fully meet the requirements of life comfortable and tasks compared with the absolute ultralight it is more mature and progressive <laughs>